Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice brisk 38 degrees out this morning and rain, but you know what? The New York City chickens love it. We need to get our goats ready today for breeding season. And then a couple of the girls are gonna go in with the breeding box. Let me remove that rain spot. Does that help? A little bit. It's supposed to stop raining this afternoon, so we'll get everything ready. And then we'll get the girls over there and breeding season begins. That means spring babies. You ladies hungry? Come on in, Moose, where are you hiding? The ladies will have that eaten in no time. Moose must be staying inside this morning. What are you peeps doing? The food's outside. I just put a birch log in the fire. Oh, I love the way birch smells. I don't know if you guys have ever burnt any birch wood, whether it's white birch or yellow birch, but it's got like a sweet smell to it. The oil's in it. I can smell it down here. Oh, my favorite. Can you smell that wood burning, the birch? I like sweetness, odor in the air. I love that smell. Like Christmas, that's a good smell. Good morning, ladies. It's your favorite kind of weather outside. We're missing little P. Where'd she go, Buttercup, huh? There you are. I thought maybe you weren't coming out because of the rain. There you go. Gonna get you girls ready in a little bit. Come on and figure out. <laughs> What's the matter, Blossom? Good morning, sir. You're getting all wet. You should have stayed in. We'll let the girls eat breakfast. We'll go in the house and eat breakfast. And then we'll come back out and we'll get the girls ready for breeding season. We got a few things we gotta do. Oh, that birch wood in the fire smells so amazing. It's like a sweet, sweet smell. Gotta hurry up and get these stalls finished cleaned up. That way we can let the girls back in. You ready to come back in now? The real troopers are still down there at the hay feeder. We've had our breakfast. We got all suited up. We got our udder covers on. We look all fancy and stylish. We had to give the goats some pedicures, even the boys. And they stink right now, so we're going to get smelly. We're not looking forward to this part, but the goat's hoofs needs trimming. So we gotta suck it up and do it. And then, once it stops raining, we can bring some girls over to the box. It'd be nice to have some spring babies. Oh, babies. Oh, this works so nice. We'll go grab a battery. I've been using the Puff Boss goat trimmer on the goats, and it works so good. Who 
do you think will be the first goat out? Uh, buttercup. Who wants the pedicure first? Who's coming? I was thinking it was going to be Hope, too. You did? I did. I would never have thought that. Hi, Hope. I think she's in heat. Well, she's a wagon her tail. She is. She's pretty talkative this morning, too. We're going to give you all beautified. I'm going to get you a pedicure before you can go on a date. She's like, no way, I want to keep eating. It's somebody else's turn now. I'm gonna let you go back. How's your pedicure feel? Huh? Does that feel good? Yes. I'm gonna give you a brushing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Who wants a pedicure next? Who's coming? You, Maggie? Come on! Nope, everybody says no. Nope. Willow? Alright. There you go. Gosh, you get so big. She's like, uh oh. What did I get myself into? Where's your mama? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> you still want to talk? Here you go. You do so good with it. Good job. You ready to go see your mama? You did a good job. You got some good feet now. Here you go. You Ivy? Come on, who's next? Buttercup. Here's in here. Trying to keep you on your toes. On your hooks. Oh, you're gonna feed me? I'm good.
don't want to breathe in poo dust, so I better put my mask on. Good. I'll just give you a quick brushing, okay? You like getting brushed? You're gonna fall asleep? I'm just showing to brush my hair. She looks nice and relaxed. Oh, yeah, she does look good. Aww. That feels so good. Four down. No, you ate all the alfalfa. So thick and nice. Nice colors too. Now you want it. You ready to go back to the rest of the herd? I know. You don't like being separated from everybody. If I have to, I'll eat some alfalfa. That wasn't that bad, was it there, Maggie? She's like, no. She's like, eh, I got to eat some at least. And you get some brushing. Look at that curly hair. Funny. That's because of the rain. Two more girls in here, and then we get to move on to the stinky boys.
bad, was it? Get a snack, a pedicure, and some brushing. What not to love? Great. Sounds wonderful. So big. He's so small compared to everybody else. The smallest else, right? one. The small one. Do you want yours? You love them? You like that Ivy? Do you want to love it like your mama? Now we gotta go over to the breeding box stall, give it a good cleaning. I didn't clean it this morning because it was raining, so I figured I'd wait till now. It's still raining, but not as bad. And then we can trim their hoofs. It's just so funny how everybody's hoofs grow at a different rate, and then all of their hoofs grow differently, in different speeds and different ways. It's kind of odd. Boys love to pee on their bed every night. So every morning we'll clean that off, we'll put fresh. There, that wasn't too bad. We just smell like a herd of male goats now. We're gonna go in the house, clean up, and have a cup of coffee. And then once this stops raining, which should be in a couple of hours, we're gonna come back out and bring the girls to go see the breeding box.
Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. Ah, I finally stopped raining out and I don't smell like a buck anymore. And the coffee was delicious. Right here. There you go. You ladies wanna go in? Go under. There you go. Is that some good stuff or what? They're tearing up that bread. How many eggs do you think they've laid us in this coop? My guess is five. Let's see, ooh. One, two, four, six, seven. I'll take that. We still gotta go check and we still have to go feed NYC and see how many they gave us today. You smell so much better now. <laughs> That's what Livia keeps telling me. <laughs> Did we stink when we came in? Yes. No. Very, 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 very bad. You're a storyteller. No, I'm not. Well, so Hope is in heat. I don't know if you can hear her from over here. But she's down at the feeder, blatting. It is windy out now. So Hope is gonna go stay with Zeke at the breeding buck, and then little P is gonna go with Caleb. We're gonna leave them in there for quite a while because last time it didn't take with Hope. So we're gonna leave them over there maybe a month? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Watch out. None. None? There's a lot of them still going through the malt right now, so I think that's why our egg production is way off. They were all inside the coop today because it was raining, so it wasn't like they were out running around laying eggs everywhere. Oh, you are ready to go. Okay, inside for you. Oh God. Oh. Hey, you guys can have your privacy. All right, so now we'll go get little P. I don't think Hope is in standing heat, and that's what you need him to be in. So we're gonna leave her here for, like I said, a couple of weeks anyways. And Wow, jumping. I'm gonna hold that shut. Caleb, you coming out? spoiled now being that close to the barn and their goat stuff during feeding time. They're gonna get confused because they won't have their trail. It's not leading the right way. Oh, I'm going there. There you go. Alright, I'm up at the property. We need to check the beaver trap and I wanted to see how much water is in the brook with all the rain we got today. We got close to an inch of rain. So. Yep, it's flowing pretty good right there. That rock you can see barely sticking out of the ground. It's usually like 18 inches out of the water. I 
gotta listen to that water flow. Man, we got some rain. Really up. It hasn't been that high since we let the dam out. Yeah, it's coming over. Our uh, game camera is underwater. That hasn't happened yet. Let me set this camera up. I gotta put my gloves on and go over here and see what we're dealing with. I'm glad I came in. Look how underwater that game camera is. We're usually at least two feet above water there. Let's come up a little bit. We got that flowing good now. All right, I know the beaver will be back tonight. I can't check the game camera, but we will set up the trap. That water is deep. It might be too deep for the trap, but I'm hoping it's gonna lower over the next couple of hours before it gets too dark. Space in there, the trap is sitting in the breeze. We'll be back in the morning. It'll be interesting to see how much this water level goes down. I mean, it's flowing good. Let's get back to the homestead. Then it should be ready. I hope the game camera's all right. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Do you smell the bacon, Pluto? And Tanner? That was mine. Left our hash browns, gonna make even better hash browns. Hmm. Tanner wants you to drop one. You do? I think you've had enough. You're supposed to be a small dog and you're a schmedium dog now, mister. You need a diet. Now are you guys a yolk person or a scrambled egg person? I like the yolk all in my hash. It's good it I'm either. 
Well, all in all, if everything goes well with the goats and the breeding bucks, the end of April, beginning of May, is when we should have baby goats on the homestead. That's a perfect time of the year for us. The weather's winter weather should be over by then. So fingers crossed. We got two different stalls we can use for birthing, so we should be in good shape. We're also thinking about adding sheep this spring. Let us know what your favorite breeds are. We're still trying to research that and trying to decide which breed of sheep we should be looking for come this spring. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.